Hey guys, welcome to the CSC. This is Aztec. Today I want to talk about Bitcoin, market, uh, what I'm doing, and also the uh, Binance Trust Wallet. So um, before I get started though, I do want to say thank you to everyone that has liked and subscribed um, to my channel. Um, definitely means a lot to me. It's the ultimate uh, sign of appreciation to you know take a little time out of your day to say hey, thanks for you know, making this video and sharing your thoughts, you know, so, um, thanks for the likes and, um, you know, keep liking my videos that, that just shows me that you, um, like what I'm doing. So, um, to get started today, let's see, um, do want to talk about Bitcoin, but, um, also before that, I just wanted to tell you, um, you know, I've had some people come out and say, um, you know, ask different questions about the channel. Um, I am thinking about, uh, looking into a telegram later on depending on um, you know how many uh, subscribers I get and things like that um, you know to see if I can um, help people a little bit more closer so that's something I'm looking at and um, also updating my YouTube uh, channel like the uh, video quality and different things like that so I'm looking at a couple things um, just seeing how things are taking off but um anyways on to Bitcoin um, Basically, uh, you know, it's definitely been interesting couple days. Um, instead of breaking upward, it broke downward. It's broken downward a couple times now. Um, what I'm doing is uh, I'm setting stop losses, you know, and I'm buying in, uh, you know, when it when it drops around that uh, support level. So um, I've, for instance, last night, you know, I. I had uh, my stop losses, they were triggered. I had them pretty tight underneath 8,000 just because once I see um, Bitcoin actually breaching the 8,000 dollar mark going under, I know it's pretty much going to be, um, you know, from what I've seen, it's going to be, um, uh, t you know, testing the, uh, the uh, support. So uh, what I've done is just each time that's done this, you know, I've um, sold as close to the top that I can and uh, wait for it to get towards the um, support and a buy in. Um, I'm not, it's to be honest, you know, the first time it happened, I, I made a very insignificant amount of money. This uh, time it happened yesterday because I was uh, a little sleepy and things, um, it was a slight loss of money, but um, basically, Doing that, you know, I pretty much ensure that I'm keeping the uh, the most uh, Bitcoin value that I can, and and possibly in some cases when I do that type of strategy, I actually make a little bit of Bitcoin. Um, really, I'm just um, staying in Bitcoin, still watching the market. I'm looking for Bitcoin to break upwards a little bit more, become a little bit more bullish, and um, and then go uh, sideways. Uh, so that, you know, I can look at the alts, you know, which is what I like to do. I like to make more money on the alts. And if you see my track record lately, you know, I've made um, just just in the last couple or last week that um, I started this channel and I've made a, a good amount. So, um, yeah, of course, like the last video I was saying, uh, what I'm really interested in looking into is uh, in cash. But... I don't want to make a buy at and in cash because if I do that um, and we get another dip, it's just, you know, wherever I put that buy in because I like to maximize my profits, um, you know, it, it could send uh, in cash, um, you know, spiraling downward. And, you know, in the end, if, if uh, August 3rd is that date that really shoots in cash up, which, you know, I'm suspecting, I'm not a financial advisor, guys, you know. Uh, please make your own decisions, but um, you know because I think that's a big date. Um, you know I'd like to see Bitcoin just um, sit in a better, uh, you know, more uh, bullish area and kind of go sideways. People are um, commenting. You know, people I trade with they're commenting about um, the uh, Bitcoin dominance and things like that. You know, once it gets close to fifty percent. Uh, we usually see, um, you know, that money start going into alts. So there, there's a lot of um, 
different things I'm looking at, but basically I'm sitting in Bitcoin, I'm using stop losses. I, I really think stop losses are really important, um, and especially in this time period. But um, I do think overall, we're gonna see a break upwards at some point. That's still where I'm at with Bitcoin. So um, let's see, what else? Oh yeah, Binance Wallet. Um, it's pretty interesting. Um, you know, it's, it's a wallet, you know, you can store your, um, well, this, uh, specific wallets for your ERC 20 and your ERC, uh, two, two, three tokens. Um, basically if you're wondering, you know, what is the ERC two, two, three tokens, they're, um, basically an updated version of the ERC 20. So they, uh, instead of, uh, with the ERC 20 tokens, if you send them to, um, if you send them out, uh, there is a possibility that if you send them to the wrong address, you know, they can get stuck there and that, you know, you lose your, your, uh, token with the ERC 223 tokens. It's updated. Um, it doesn't allow that, uh, transaction to happen. So that's the, uh, differentiation of it. But, um, the, um, well, it looks interesting. I mean, it's really simple to use. I'm, I'm looking at the screen here and I'm looking at the, uh, their uh, initial website here, you know, it's uh, trustwalletapp.com. Um, super clean, um, super basic, you know, it's pretty interesting. I mean, I'm not going to use it right away because, um, I'm not, I, you know, I use a uh, cold storage, and I use a different option at this time, but um, in the future, it, it seems like it'd be a pretty interesting thing to look into, especially when, um, you know, the, I get a better idea of, you know, the market um, turning into more of a bull run and uh, making sure that we're in a, a bot, an actual bottom, you know, um, I would definitely like to buy into some alts and hold them long term. But um, right now I'm not doing too many long terms and I'll, I'll make more videos on, you know, what's in my wallet and different things at a different time. But um, it does look like an interesting wallet. Um, you know, they're working with Binance. Binance, um, it's where I do most of my trading. I trust Binance over, um, you know, pretty much all the other big exchanges. I like Coinbase and Binance. It's, those are my uh, top picks. But um, uh, you know, basically about the wallet, it's uh, secure. You're able to um, hold your own private keys. That's what I found really notable. Um, you can store your ERC20 and 223 tokens on the Ethereum network. Um, let's see, I had something else here that I wanted. It's a different page. I'm actually on the, uh, the googleplay.com. And there's some descriptions here I thought that were interesting. So I'm just gonna read them. Um, so the ones I found most interesting is that uh, it participates in any ERC-20 or ERC-223 based ICO or airdrop. So the wallet uh, actually participates in those. Um, it configures a gas price, gas limit, and data message in a simple and easy to understand way. So um, in any type of um, you know, ERC-20 type wallet, that, that's, that goes a long way. Um, also, it says gain a peace of mind with military grade security. Trust Wallet was fully audited by leading security firm that ensured safety and integrity of the application. So, looks like they did a lot of work to make sure that um, you know it's very secure. And you know, I, I did also read something else somewhere where you know they they um, the um, wallet allows you to put um, several layers of security on it you know um, an example that um, a, a, of a layer of security for like um, other things uh, that you might know about is uh, like when you have an when you uh, trade on an exchange you know you're using your um, um, sorry guys <laughs> uh, use like a Google Authenticator, you know, things like that. So basically the um, wallet has uh, different layers of security. So that's that's also 
um, pretty awesome. And let's see what else. Lastly, I found one more here. Oh yeah, it's just the keys. Basically, being able to store your own private keys on your own device is, you know, a really big deal. And um, you know, that's that's nice to actually own it. You know, but uh, other than that, guys, um, it seems like it's a it's a pretty good app. I'm not looking to use it yet, like I said, but um, it's uh, something I'll be probably using in the near future. So. Other than that, guys, that's it. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. You know, I know this market's pretty crazy. Um, you know, definitely, if you have questions, ask me. Uh, if you uh, want me to talk about something, ask me. I know I've had some people ask me about some coins already, and um, I need to, you know, look into them further. I, if you guys, to tell you up front, you know, if you ask me something and I don't talk about it, it could be that I have my eyes on, you know, the things I feel have more potential or um, you know it could, could be that I, I don't really you know like the uh, coin or token um, and I, I'll never be I'm always going to be I'm going to try to be someone that doesn't FUD uh, people's coins and things like that because especially you know as I gain more um, uh, people subscribers and things like that I I don't want to ever be someone that's like uh, fudding the market and uh, making coins drop and um, things like that. You know, if I find something that's malicious, you know, I might talk about it. But um, other than that, I'd rather, uh, if I don't have something good to say, I'd rather just not say it, you know, keep my own um, opinions out of it, you know. But um, I really want to stick to uh, coins that I think that I can swing because I'm a swing trader that have the most potential you know within the nearest time frame and things like that you know so um i'm still looking to to be honest with the coins that people have suggested already i'm still just looking into them you know and um i take my time with the research you know to really make sure i understand um what i'm talking about before i just post a video about it but um yeah guys um questions go ahead and ask so anything in the video that um, you have an opinion on, let me know. Let me know what you guys think about these things that I talk about. And, um, you know, hope the best with trading. You know, hopefully uh, we get a break upwards. I really believe at some point soon, I'm still, I'm still holding, you know, to that belief that uh, at some point soon we're going to have a break upwards, especially getting closer towards um, August 10th and the um, C, uh, CBOE uh, decisions and things like that. So... Um, and also I'm still keeping in cash on my radar for a buy, but, uh, yeah, guys, take it easy.